Do trail cameras spook deer? You know, I think everybody's got an opinion on that topic. Uh, some hunters are gonna tell you, yes, definitely, they spook deer. Others are gonna tell you, not so much. I think the truth is probably somewhere in the middle of that, somewhere in the middle of those two extremes. But I think we can all agree that there's no harm in making your trail cameras as inconspicuous as possible. Let's discuss four ways that trail cameras might spook deer. Smell of the camera, sight of the camera, illumination, and the user checking the camera. First off, smell of the camera. I've never heard of anyone claiming the camera itself has enough of an odor to alarm deer. The camera is subject to rain that washes off human scent, and the sealed enclosure keeps any smell from the electronics and batteries contained. I think we can safely ignore this issue. Okay, what about the sight of the camera? When deer see the camera, does it alarm them? Well, maybe. We've all seen those images of deer looking right at the camera, so they obviously know it's there, and they're curious about it. There are a few things you can do, though, to make your cameras a little bit less noticeable. You can use a pivot and tilt mount to place the camera up above the deer or between trees. Second, you can take some sticks and lean them against the camera. Anything just to break up that outline. It doesn't take much and suddenly the camera is less noticeable. Does it work? It sure does, according to Mark Cuddyback. Uh, I get a lot of pictures of wolves up here. I'm in northern Wisconsin. We got a lot of wolves up here. And I had a picture, I didn't have a picture, there was snow on the ground and I was following some wolf tracks. They were walking down this road and they got about right over where the four-wheeler is and they turned and they cut into the woods and they okay. came back around back here. Right. And I thought, what were they doing? Well, then I seen that again in another camera where they're again walking down the road. They went in the woods around the camera and came back out 20 feet past. So they spotted that camera right over there. I'm convinced they spotted the camera. They knew the camera was there and then they circled around it. Wow, that's interesting. Now, since then, I said, okay, what can I do to prevent this from happening? How can I conceal the cameras in a simple way that works? And I came up with an idea, and lo and behold, it works. Now I do get an occasional wolf picture right, right here in the same spot. Okay, Gordy, this camera's mounted on a tree. It's a little ways off the road, but again, I found out the wolves were still seeing the camera. So basically, all I did was take a few sticks and just okay. put it like this, and you know, took some more and kind of just had them in here like this, outline. just enough to break out the outline. And after I did this, I started getting pictures of the wolves again. That's so, all it took. So it doesn't little... take much. Yeah. It doesn't take much. Just got to be careful I don't get anything in front of the camera that can interfere with the motion sensor or the camera itself or the flash. Next is illumination. Does the flash spook deer? This debate is going on since the first trail cameras were sold in the 1980s. For every hunter who says the flash spooks deer, there's one who says the flash doesn't. So what do you believe? Give an example. We got a food plot down here, my cabin's over here. I take a 1600 lumen uh, spotlight. I shot it on the deer, the deer don't move. I go, why don't those deer move? Yeah. They act like I didn't even turn the light on. Right. What's going on here? And then I started thinking about this. Deer can see in the dark. Right. It's just like here in this broad daylight. Oh, I know if where you, you're going with if this. If you turn the yeah. flashlight on right now, I can't see it. Right. At night, when the deer Basically, it's bright out. When this, when these lights go off, can they see it? I don't know, but I have never seen a case where a deer has been alarmed by a strobe flash or a spotlight. Well, I gotta ask then, as you and other companies develop all this different flash technology, are you doing it for the deer or are you doing it for the hunters to make the hunters feel better about using flash? I'm doing it for myself and for the hunters. Yeah. Uh, myself, I like strobe flash. Cuddyback will always develop a strobe camera because that's the technology I prefer to use. For the hunters, they want IR, they want black flash. We're going to continue to perfect and fine tune and make better and better and better black flash and IR technology for the hunter. A final way a trail camera can alarm deer is the act of checking them. As you check your cameras, you're making noise and leaving scent. With most trail cameras, this is a problem you cannot solve. But with Cuddyback's Cuddy Link, you can now check your camera without going afield and disturbing deer. Cuddy Link cameras can send images to one home collection camera that you can place in a convenient location. Now you leave your deer completely undisturbed, yet you can still get their images.